Hi friends, uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, in this session, I'm going to show you how you can install FreeNAS 11.3 version and the installation steps remains the same for a TrueNAS as well, which is the upgraded version of uh, FreeNAS 12.0 version. So on screen, as you can see, this is my hypervisor running on top of uh, the bare metal server. And I'm going to create a virtual machine. If you don't find the template, you can basically set it as Linux other. So this is my ISO library where I have already uploaded the free NAS version, which is, I guess, 11.3. Boot mode, I'll let it be BIOS unless you have specific requirement don't change the boot uh, option i'm going to give it as eight So this is my NAS server, which is a physical device, which is attached to this hypervisor. I don't need additional uh, network and IC, so I'll go with each zero. So let's wait for uh, the hypervisor to provision the VM. As you can see on screen, my free NAS is booting up. So I'm going to select the option of install and I'm going to hit space so that I can select the Add this and then I'll click on yes after going through the instructions and I'll set the password. Okay. 
and that's it i'm done with configuring the password i'm going to boot via bios so i'm good with that let's uh, wait for the vm to restart So I'm going to boot free NAS installer, the first option. Okay, that is strange. Okay, it seems like the disk, as you can see here. So disk is too small to install FreeNAS. So there might be some requirement there. Let's not do that now. Let's try to. Let me force shut down the VM so that I can resize the storage. Let me have 10 GB. Okay, this should fix the issue. I guess I missed the output on the console last time when I rebooted the VM, thinking that everything went fine. So always uh, see what's going on on console, if there is any issues. Let's see if this time it boots up or not. Okay, this time it is taking the SD80 zero created. Okay, I can see that it is taking the active virtual hard disk attached, which is ADA zero. Let's wait for the process to complete. So uh, yeah, it has started the installation of PaceOS, which is the step one out of four. Okay, in the meantime, what we can do is we can check the general settings of FreeNAS. 
so that we are sure what were the configuration here what do we have here okay we have two virtual cpus two sockets with one core per socket how about memory okay we have almost 8 gb of memory which is the minimum requirement for for uh, free nas true nas storage is 10 gb as i already told you networking part is just a single nic Okay, so installation is done. Let's try to reboot this system and let's see what we have. I think we can reject this. Okay, in the meantime, what I can do is I can open up my browser. And then once it is done booting up the OS, we can configure the IP address. I don't know what's wrong with my VM. It is behaving strangely. And it's it is kind of laggy as well. So, by the way, this particular uh, virtual machine, which is the host, is uh, on the same server, and I have a lot of resources on that server. But then, I'm not sure why it's slowing up. Maybe it is taking some update. All right, not an issue. Okay, should be in this network. Yeah. Okay, the reason for a slowness on booting process might be because uh, it is booting from the network drive not from the local ssds anyways i don't care about that because i have redundancies on my nas device so i'm rest assured that if anything goes wrong with my first nas server i always have the restore point Okay, it seems like it is setting up the clock. See the CPU information. Yeah, I think I'm done. Okay, it has taken 107. But if you want, you can configure it. I'm not sure if I'm able to ping that or not. Let us get to the shell.
Okay, let us set the default route. Yes. Okay, so now why? Okay, we have the access now, so we can access the free NAS portal. Okay, so I am having the access. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so I switched to another machine because of the slowness issue on my previous host. So, yeah, so the username is going to be root and the password is going to be the one that you configured while doing the installation all right so as you can see that i'm into the free nas 11.3 i can show you that under the system settings where is that Yeah. So you can see here it is 11.3 version. And that's all in this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and stay safe. Have a good day.